Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Brendan back again with another video and today we're gonna to be talking about the top three tips for shooting a killer music video. So the first and most important tip probably of them all is coverage. What do I mean by coverage? Literally, I just mean make sure you have enough different shots so when you go and to edit the video, you can edit it beginning to end without any breaks, without any blank spaces that you can't fill with anything. Remember, a music video is like a four minute long thing, and if you don't have enough variety, enough different types of shots to cut back and forth to, the video can get really boring really fast. So a general rule of thumb is the more variety, the better. And what do I mean by variety? I mean think different kinds of shot angles and shot compositions, different kind of locations, different kind of lighting, all of that stuff. Something that I like to do when I'm in the editing process is I like to make sure that I'm not cutting away from a shot and then back to that shot immediately in the next cut. The reason is that makes it feel like there's a lot less variety and it can make the video feel a lot more boring and uninteresting. So try to keep that in mind. Another way to keep your viewer engaged throughout the whole music video, other than just having a variety of coverage, is making sure that your video has a lot of visual appeal. The main things that, in my opinion, affect the visual appeal of your music video are going to be mainly three things. Your cinematography, your editing, and your mise-en-scene. By mise-en-scene, I mean pretty much anything that is inside your frame, whether that be the location, the costumes, or uh, any of the people, props, any of the set design, anything like that is mise-en-scene. So the song itself is going to be the driving factor for all the decisions uh, for the cinematography, the editing, and the mise-en-scene. So the best thing that you can do when you're coming up with ideas for the music video is before you do anything, sit down with the musician and talk to them about the song. Make sure you understand the lyrics, if there are lyrics. Make sure you understand the musician's inspiration. Why does the musician want to shoot this video, this song, over any of the other songs that they have? Try to understand those details. That's going to help you when you're coming up with ideas about the music video, when you're coming up with ideas about how you're going to light it, what kind of locations you're going to pick. Maybe you can come up with a story for the music video. All of those things are going to help you with the visual appeal. So for me personally, every single music video that I've done, and I've done a lot of music videos now, um, in my area there's a lot of uh, rap and hip-hop culture and a lot of rap musicians that I've, that I've worked with. And even though I do a lot of uh, the same genre of music and wor I work with a lot of the same few artists, I try to make every single video have a unique visual appeal. I don't want any two videos to look the same or feel the same. So for instance, for example, I have uh, two music videos here, two of the most recent music videos I shot with one rapper. Um, the first one is uh, called Post-Apocalyptic and it's all about a post-apocalyptic world. In the beginning stages talking about this music video, we actually used uh, The Walking Dead and a lot of images from that show to help inspire us for the visual design. And you can see it has a very gritty, kind of grungy look, a very uh, grungy sort of contrasty color grade to it, and it has its own very specific look to it. Now compare that to the next video that I shot with the same artist for a different song. Um, this song has, uh, it's an ancient Egyptian theme, and instead of shooting this on location, we actually shot this in a sound stage. Now this is an unreleased music video, so I'm only gonna show you a few seconds as a sneak peek from this music video but it has a completely different look, feel, and aesthetic. Um, we completely designed and built the stage. We, we found all the props from a local prop house, and the lighting is a lot flashier and cleaner. It's a lot more of a, of a clean, flashy aesthetic than sort of the more grungy, gritty, um, post-apocalyptic feel of the first music video that we did. But by far, the most important thing that you can do to craft some visual appeal in your music video is location, location, location. And my final tip for this video is to experiment. To me, the most wonderful thing about shooting a music video is you can try new techniques that you'd really never get away with in, in say, a short film or any other project, really. But ultimately, just have fun with it. Remember, you're trying to make a video that's gonna be unforgettable for the audience, and hopefully by using some experimental, new, interesting techniques, you can engage the viewer and keep them interested from the beginning to the end. What I really love to do is sometimes I'll just sit on YouTube and I'll go to the, the trending music section of uh, all the Vivo music videos that have been uploaded recently 
and I go watch tons of music videos from artists that I know, maybe some artists that I don't know, and I just watch a bunch of music videos. This gives me a lot of new fresh ideas, a lot of things that I see in other music videos. I, I think, oh, how could I do that? Or how could I do something similar to that? A lot of the times it'll give you a springboard for new ideas. You don't always have to reinvent the wheel, but you can try to do things that people haven't done before or things that people haven't seen a lot. So yeah, just give it your own twist, your own flair. If you follow all three of those steps, I promise you, you're gonna make a really killer music video. So thanks guys, I hope that video really helped. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, stay tuned for more content to come out very soon, and I'll catch you guys later.